What's up, you guys, fans? In this video, I'm going to be doing an update on the Magic Cycle pre-sale. I had actually made an announcement about this bike that I came across from actually Magic Cycle reaching out to me, offering me a bike to go ahead and do a review. The more I looked into it, I thought, wow, this is a crazy price. Did a video on it, and it was actually one of the most controversial videos that I posted. It was one of the videos that I had the most negative feedback on. But needless to say, there were the ones that actually did jump in on the deal. I wanted to give you an update and to let you know how far they've gotten on it and they've hit a huge milestone. So let's get started and I'll show you in the video. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, about the Magic Cycle bike, on July 11th, I actually mentioned about this bike that was coming on to the US market and it was going to be a direct competitor to bikes like the Hemiway, Rad Rover, any of the 750 watt fat tire 26 inch bikes. Now one of the things I really liked about this bike was it, it does have basically all of the elements of a powerful bike that I'm looking for but more than anything else it was the price that they're actually launching this at that really took me by surprise. So there were a few bikes left on their Indiegogo campaign at $9.99. Uh, under early the early launching on that now right now they've already gone through that there's a 1099 price so here's the thing about what i'm making this announcement for for those of you who are not in it yet and you're still interested they still have these and it is exactly the same product that you are getting if you were to pay on the website for 11.99 this deal is still running and at the top they even have it seven bikes at 10.99 left on indiegogo so if you go to the indiegogo site now i have it on a link at ebikeproducts.com slash magicycle takes you directly and redirects you here once this campaign is over that redirect will take you to the website uh, magicyclebike.com so in the meantime, anyway, those of you who actually took advantage of this, there's still six left on this. I know it says seven, but they haven't updated it. There's another one that actually sold on this. So there's still, for $10.99, you are getting a bike that's comparable to, I'd say, a $16.99 or $15.99 Hemiway. So this is something I just wanted to go ahead and, and make an announcement. I get no compensation for saying what I'm saying, or there is no kickback. Uh, I am getting a free bike from them to do a review, and there's other reviewers I know that you guys watch uh, that are in the same the niche of e-bikes that you guys are watching out there that are also going to be getting these just as no one had done a pre-announcement yet. It's a little risky, I get it, and especially because it's on Indiegogo, in the past they've had a really bad rap for having products that don't come out there. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and talk about this bike because of the fact that I did my due diligence pretty extensively. I asked them a ton of questions and I got a lot of feedback from them and there was no reason for me to think, there was no red flags that said this is not a legit company. They will be selling these bikes at a higher price, probably $14 or $15.99 when it's actually at full price. They're not really sure yet. They're seeing how the market's going to launch, but they use Indiegogo as a way to get more exposure. And of course, they're using YouTubers, but none of the bikes had actually left China yet to get here. And they were all in production. So of course, there's a lot of people who have actually had really bad experiences from Indiegogo. After looking into everything about this company though, I felt as though I wanted to make a video and get it out there because of the deal that was to be had by some of my viewers. And you guys picked up on it. There are three of them that took advantage of the $9.99 deal that I was talking about here. It is still at $10.99, which is still a killer deal. Because if you look at the Hemiway bike, which is very comparable to this one, and if you want to look, it's $15.99. You're getting like $500 bucks off on a bike that's very... They even look the same. They're not, though. There are some differences on it. Until we actually have the bike in our hand and I'm actually doing a review, we don't know. So it is still a risk i'm gonna say that absolutely we don't know but for those of you who did jump into it i actually have a special video that i was able to compile with everything that they were sending me all this time through and they hit a huge milestone where their bikes are actually on the water a lot of you know that i'm into uh, uh, studying the logistics of what's going on out there in the supply chain especially with the e-bike and this is one of their videos that they've launched or they're putting together and it shows they actually hired this guy, Ben. He's a professional mountain biker to go ahead and play around with the bikes and took some footage of it. So right now he's just doing a, a regular incline running through. And then, of course, a throttle only run to see, you know, the power going up this hill here. You can see the bike is actually ready made. And this is one that's right off the production line. It's not like a, a prototype model. They're actually using him also to go ahead and do some of their other videos of demonstrations, um, explaining how to's and talk about different areas. So this is a video that's going to be put out by them or if it's not already on their Indiegogo that they're putting all of this together. Now here's the bikes already made. This is the kind of stuff that I was getting 
throughout the last few weeks. This is it in the container ready to go. And this is actually on the truck. So it, the next hurdle for them was to actually get it on the boat. It already cleared their customs to get out and leave the port. As you can see, they're even doing drop tests on this. This, this uh, box actually came special from Japan. So that's really cool too. I mean, I got some explanation about what they're doing and why, because they really want to make sure that their bikes get here safely. The guys who actually are running this company are really experienced in the industry. So they actually know all the problems that everybody's already had with theirs. So they want to make sure they're getting the bikes without as little problems as possible, really. Um, here's them actually after they did the drop test, they actually pulled out the bike. And, you know, I actually have the full video of them actually talking about checking it over, looking at all the different points that would have actually had damage. There was none. So, you know, their drop test, they also have showing the machine it's just kind of like walking through the factory it's pretty cool so you see the fork fatigue test and then we also have the handlebar testing here which is also really cool i thought it was a, a neat thing to see and then um the frame they're testing also that and then you actually have the motor test the motor is actually running uh, there's no audio for you guys to hear but on the actual raw video i can actually hear the, the motor running and all of the diagnostics that they're running through the test so this was actually really cool footage i mean this is the actual bikes that are going to be heading out they also test every single bike. There's footage that I did not add to this part of the video where they're actually riding every bike that comes off the line and they're testing it on the outside just to make sure that they're all running all right. And look how many bikes they got. What's on the water on the way is over a couple hundred bikes. So they're going to be able to fulfill what's in the Indiegogo campaign. And then they have actually two more shipments coming out after the fat. And even with the containers being at over sixteen dollars to $20,000 a container now, where before pre-COVID it was only like $2,000, they're actually still keeping the prices pretty low. So there is credibility. These, Like I said, these guys who are running this company are from... The industry for many years they know what they're doing they're even using a motor that's not the fang they're actually using shenji which is in some of the uh, venton bikes and to get more specs for those of you who've never seen this bike before or heard anything about it go ahead and watch that other video that i had up there about you know the the killer deal on the magic cycle and i'll bring that up after this video is done but this is them doing actually the programming and diagnostics again and just a short clip of somebody riding it through the, the factory here but look at all the bikes they got and this is exclusively for them people are saying oh is it just coming off the hemingway line with a different sticker on it they actually own this factory there's a lot of credibility for this company to get as many bikes as they're getting out right now and what it's coming out and this is earlier pictures when we had first launched it they were saying look this is the assembly the later pictures have all them full assembled that's what you saw this is one of the fully assembled the first ones that were coming out and now they have all of these pictures that are coming out after the fact these bikes are all made they're already on the water it should take i mean there was a little delay because of all the typhoons that were actually hitting they are actually able to get past some of the issues that were holding up all of the e-bike manufacturers out there so some things i want to bring up really quickly about this this is the video again look for the one that says best 2021 e-bike deal again it was actually published on july 11th a lot of people already jumped it's only a hundred dollars more than the original one and there is only six left of this one of course even at 12.99 it's still a great deal. I mean, they're going to be bringing up the price after. They already know that's going to come out. So, oh, here's the early bird that was sold out. There was only, I mean, there, at the time that I actually made the announcements, there were still three out of the five. And immediately they sold through. This will come out as a class two. And you can actually unlock it to be a class three. Again, go to the Indiegogo campaign, ebikeproducts.com slash magicycle. And that will take you to this. I'll have a link again below that you can actually, it'll redirect you to this automatically. So that's the easiest way to get here. You can go ahead and pick up one of these bikes. I mean, oh, the other thing I wanted to make sure they wanted to ask, uh, make sure I mention is that you not only get the bike itself, be sure to click on this open gift box. Okay. So now this is on the Magic Cycle website, but it, it will apply to the Indiegogo campaign. So everything that's on the Indiegogo campaign, both the Indiegogo campaign and off the website, whichever one you buy it from, it will come uh, and be shipped out at the same time because it's all going to be part of that first shipment coming in. You get a cap, but you also get this, you know, the front paneer bag that has a cell phone holder already, small tool set, which is actually very helpful to have a tool set. Um, it comes with full fenders back in front. The other thing is they're adding an alarm. They've actually doing some research. Again, they're, they're looking to see what are people having problems with and they added an alarm to this. comes free with it. A password lock, it comes with it. You can just carry this around with you. Fenders are a part of it. Rear rack is all part of it. For those of you who also don't know, Radover came out with their new Radover 6 at $19.99. 
This is almost $900 off and it's going to be more powerful. I already know that for sure. Just based on, I mean, if you looked at that video that I showed earlier, he actually was able to get air coming off that first jump. That's a very difficult thing to do on a, on a Rad Rover with the power you get out of Rad Rover. Plus, he was able to pull up the front wheel on one of the other parts of that video as well. So I'm saying you're going to get a really good bike just from the demos that we've been able to see. And for those of you who still are skeptical about it, you know, you can wait until the bikes start coming in and we do the reviews and then pick up after that. I don't know how many of the Indiegogo ones will be left. Again, this 11 or 1099 is probably going to be gone within a few days after this video is launched for sure. They are trying to get it out by the end of September. To be honest, they have no control over customs and I already know that that's been taking a while to get through it. They have a container, so that's a benefit. They can get the whole thing through at once. But just keep that in mind. Even FedEx, if they're using FedEx, it's going to take some delay on that. But it's a big deal. It's a huge milestone getting it on the water. I'm super excited about it because it stressed me out when I first put it out there. A lot of people were really complaining that I shouldn't have actually said much about about it that I'm pushing it too hard but I'm really happy that my gut feeling was right that you know these bikes are on their way and yes they could have faked all of that but why would they and like I said I've been working or talking with them quite consistently on this so anyway I just wanted to bring this out there update you guys on the magic cycle bike I'm super excited about it if you guys have any questions that I can't answer Make sure you watch this video first because, I, like I said, this is a, almost a 30-minute video all about it. And any questions, please, if you guys want to know about more deals that I'm coming across or seeing, make sure you uh, hit the like button uh, and subscribe to the channel as well. If you want notifications, hit the little bell. And you're going to see this bike, at least I know, with some of the really popular e-bike YouTubers that are out there. So uh, when you start seeing that, take advantage now. There's nothing else I can really say about it. If you guys have any questions, try to put it in the comments. I I'm sorry, right me, I have not been able to get into a lot of comments there's so many coming in now that my time has been very limited with all of the the bikes that the reviews they need to do and there's so many things that i still need to make out there but i'll try to get especially for these on there and also magic cycle does have a representative that is watching the comments on their videos that are coming out and they'll try to answer them as well and um thank you guys very much i will see you guys in the next video